All right, this is gonna be the third and final video that you're gonna catch me in today with this same outfit on. But I had a few minutes, I'm batch filming a couple of things, I'm really excited about a bunch of things, and these were videos that I really wanted to film. So my husband has all the children upstairs and they're doing book reading and bedtime and all sorts of stuff like that. Well, I have a few uninterrupted minutes left. I wanted to share about scripture writing. This is so elementary. This is not something that I came up with, but this is something that I've been doing now for, um, I think I started at the very beginning of December. So it's been four and a half months of me doing this and it has changed my faith. It has changed my walk with the Lord so incredibly much. I have spent the last seven years having little babies. I have a seven-year-old, an almost six-year-old, a just turned four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old. So I have a lot of little kids and every single day is kind of like a rat race. Um, from waking up in the morning until nap time and then wrestling kids for nap time and then you know the wrestling kids through the rest of the day trying to keep up on all the things I got to do. I'm a homeschooling mom on top of that. Then making dinner and doing bedtime and by that time I'm still waking up in the middle of the night nursing a baby. At this point in my life I basically was just resigned to the fact that I wasn't going to be able to read my Bible as much as I wanted to at all. Anytime I would pull out my Bible I would feel distracted and I would feel rushed and I would feel like stressed almost that there was no way this was going to sink in in the way that I wanted to and I felt like I couldn't do my bible study justice and then I made excuses and excuses and excuses and I went a long time without really spending a lot of time in the word I would listen to sermons but even then I was still kind of half paying attention to them because of all the things going on and how distracted I was then I decided that I was going to try scripture writing to be honest at this point I can't remember where I got the idea from um, if you are that person who gave me that idea, please comment down below. But I started writing, just writing out scripture. This is now my second notebook. I filled one already. Um, I think it took me like three and a half months to fill this one, fill the other one. This one I started on April 5th. It's now May 9th. So this is about a month worth of writing right here. Um, I would say in the last few weeks, we spent a lot of time sick, so um, I haven't wrote as much, but my day went from my nap time being a time that I would decompress by watching mindless things on YouTube or scrolling endlessly through my Instagram, and it went to such a fruitful, such a powerful time in my day that anchors my whole day that I look forward to all day and I miss after it's over. Like I, at the end of nap time, I'm getting frustrated as I'm like trying to finish up whatever part of scripture that I was writing as my kids are waking up around me. So I had a few questions about it. I just wanted to encourage you guys that it's not anything fancy. You don't need any special tools. You don't need any special pens. I personally bought a Moleskine journal. This is an extra large one because I wanted something that was gonna stand up to me, opening it and closing it every day. And I felt like, you know, your average Mead notebook wasn't gonna do that. Um, so that's why I bought a notebook like that. I'll link it down below. I have also discovered my favorite pens in this experience. I've also gone through probably five or six pens in this time. And in the last seven years of my life, I've not gone through one like the full ink of a pen. And now that I'm writing, I'm writing so much that I'm going through full pens and it's such a cool experience. All of that aside, my faith and my walk with the Lord has been what has been the most beneficial. I started with picking writing plans on Pinterest. I would just pick the topical plans that other women had put together. And then from there, I started writing full chapters of books and then I started writing full books of the Bible. Um, in the last couple months, I have wrote, no, just so far in this past month, I've wrote the book of Hebrews and then followed by the book of James. Before that, I think I did Colossians and right now I'm going through the Psalms. So how this is different is that I am taking the time to read the words either from my Bible app on my phone or just having my Bible out sitting next to me and I can write like this. I've actually found that it helps my eyes better to have the be the Bible and not my phone app, but in a pinch, I use my phone. Um, from looking from the screen to writing, I prefer having my paper Bible out, but really it's been a matter of just writing it out. So I take the time to read the words and then I copy it. And what sinks in 
from reading the words and then writing the words and as I'm writing the words I'm writing them slowly so I'm trying to give them time to sink in and all of the distractions in my room I have five children that are sleeping on the floor and around me and I'm able to spend time in the word and it's it's sinking in so if I could do anything to encourage other women out there and other moms if you are feeling like you have no time to spend in the word start by just copying a couple verses a day start with a topical plan something like that it will transform your walk with the lord i wish i knew of this when i had my first baby seven years ago so that's it nothing fancy i'll give you a close-up to some of the stuff um here in a second but really that's it it's truly nothing fancy you could use any pen any paper anything that you wanted to copy the holy scriptures down and just have them in your own notebook you can see that it's nothing fancy I literally just write the date, I write the chapter, and then I just keep writing from there. Sometimes I will underline things that stand out to me, like if I was going to go talk to my husband about it later. Um, I don't write many notes in this one. I want this one to be just specifically for uh, scripture writing, but I have another separate notebook that I have my prayers and notes from sermons and stuff like that. But this one is just specifically um, scripture writing. Like I said... It is nothing fancy. It's nothing that anybody can't do. And right now I am writing through the book of Psalms. So if you'd like to join me, just hashtag on Instagram, write the Psalms. Very simple, very easy to do. Shouldn't take you very long at all if you only did one a day. All right, ladies, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below if you are somebody who is also writing out scripture, if you have done this before, if you feel like this is a blessing to you and if this has increased your faith and increased your knowledge too in scripture, I have felt like so much of this makes such an impact on my brain in a way that nothing ever did before because I was so distracted and so tired and this just really helps me study the word in a way that I didn't know was possible at this season of life. So please just give it a shot. I encourage you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again real soon.